Almost exactly 200 years ago, in October 1809, Lord Byron and his friend Hobhouse travelled up from Greece along this very route. Of course, the thing linking Robin and Luella and Edith Durham and indeed Edward Lear was in those days there was no way of getting around Albania except on horseback. There were no roads, there were tracks, and it's perilously steep. Difficult rushing streams, rocky hillsides, shaly cliffs. And so Edith Durham had to ride, and she was a good horsewoman. Edward Lear had to ride, he was a very bad horseman, did drawings of himself with sort of reins all over his head and stirrups flying. Robin and Luella, I am pleased to report, are very, very accomplished horse people. The Albanians are really amazing people. Ever since the great nation from which they are descended, the Illyrians, which was equal in power, almost, to Rome and Greece, between which it was sandwiched, was overthrown and disappeared. The Albanians have been abused and attacked and overrun by everyone. First of all, it was the Romans who built the Via Ignatia as their main highway between Rome and Byzantium. The Crusaders took a short cut through Albania on their way to the Holy Land. And then it was the Venetians who overran the place. Then along came the Ottoman Empire from Constantinople, right up until 1912, when a country was demarcated. And for the first time, there was an actual state of Albania. But they've always been here in these hills, fighting against oppression, being independent, being very, very different, being wonderfully hospitable, and being very, very brave and fierce and interesting. It is well known that horses who are brave and fine animals aren't as sure-footed as mules. And so Robin and Luella were very courageous to ride on horseback and to ride in this extraordinary terrain. We're now right at the very end of our Albanian journey. And we've reached the very place where Byron and Hobhouse traveled through. All the sons of the mountains arise at the note, Kimariot, Illyrian, and dark Suliot. Oh, who is more brave than a dark Suliot? To his snowy camise and his shaggy capote, to the wolf and the vulture he leaves his wild flock and descends to the plain like the stream from the rock. Baron and Hobhouse were on horses, just like us. And they came down this very track, past this very spot. And it was here that Byron started writing Child Harold. Shall the sons of Kimari, who never forgive the fault of a friend, bid an enemy live? Let those guns so unerring such vengeance forego. What mark is so fair as the breast of a foe? The idea of the romance of the East, of the strange people who lived in this country, Albania, and Hobhouse described in detail all the places they went, the very villages that we're camping in as we go through, were the same ones that Byron and Hobhouse stayed in 200 years ago. Very steep, some really scary places where we were on a three inch wide ledge with a pretty sheer drop below and a sheer cliff on the other side. The infrastructure for road signs is not very complete. Probably the highlight for me of, well, certainly anxiety, was crossing a very big suspension bridge which just bounced and rattled. Yeah, we've seen the traces of the old communist regime, the terrible buildings, the ruins, and some of the ugly things that they did, and the frightful history that these people went through. And of course, the history of the blood feuds is one that people emphasize, and they do still go on, but not much. It's not the main thing. Now, this is a rough, tough, Wild West sort of country, but hospitality in this country is quite beyond imagining. From uh, grips. Ooh. That is really strong stuff. <laughs> Thank you. I really have to go to Libraj tomorrow. I can't hang about. If we don't find somebody to come with us, then Luella and I will go alone, which is quite dangerous. We can't go off into the Albanian countryside, into the mountains on our own. Our Albanian isn't good enough. With the pouring rain, we could be in serious trouble if we get caught overnight. Trying to work out where you are, let alone where you've just been, 
It's tricky in a country that has no maps. This man has said he will come with us as the guide to take us to where we are sleeping tonight. This is very good news, I think. Ooh, there we go, up again. We had a brilliant guide this morning who took us all the way to Voskopoi. He was absolutely terrific, a great character, and he knew all the shortcuts, and my goodness, it made a difference. The problem about sleeping out is not so much that it's comfort. The danger is that these woods are full of bears, wolves, and other nasties. Darling, these passes are getting narrower and narrower. I'm getting really scared. Land of Eagles will be completed in March 2008 and presented in Cannes at MIP Doc 2008 for the first time. It will be available in lengths from 46 minutes to 59 minutes, depending on broadcaster standards. The format is widescreen high definition and will be available in NTSC, PAL, and CCAM. Albania, Land of Eagles, a Mickey Grant film.